What's up my good people? I'm Joey Young and today I'm stoked to talk about three principles every achiever must adopt. Super important principles that I know have made a huge difference in my productivity and my ability to accomplish my goals and my hope is that by kind of talking you through what they look like and how to implement them, they'll benefit your life and your business as well. The three principles are preparation, action, and review. Preparation, action, and review. And I know what you're thinking. Joey, I learned these words in grade school. I've got these down. These are way too basic for me. I'm far more advanced than this. Well, I wanna let you know I thought the same thing before I actually sat down and discovered that what, what, what the problem was is that I, I really had a, an issue with review in my life. I was pretty good at preparation. I was fairly good at action. I just didn't really have the quality of review and a rhythm of review that I needed to multiply my effectiveness and my productivity on a day-to-day -day basis. And once I realized that, I started quickly to implement them, uh, the changes I needed to make to balance these out better. And I have a feeling that if you haven't spent time doing this yet, you may need to do the same thing as well. Understand which one of these three, preparation, action, or review, you naturally do, you kind of lean towards on a, on a regular basis, and which ones you might not naturally do or even avoid. Because uh, one thing that I know is that if you have the proper balance of these in your life, you will increase your productivity and your effectiveness. It's just a matter of getting them right. So I'm stoked to talk to you about them today. The first one that uh, I want to talk about is preparation. And preparation, really just broad strokes, is the ability to clear space for quality work to happen. It's the ability to clear the way for quality work to take place. And uh, the first step to that is actually um, is just priming your mind. And, and, and this is a daily practice. So priming your mind looks like reading and meditation, uh, prayer. It could look like a little bit of exercise. It could look like positive affirmations in the morning, but this is a daily activity. And if there's one thing I can encourage you to do with priming your mind, that's speaking the future positive version of yourself out loud over yourself every single morning. I think this will make the biggest difference in your productivity and your growth journey to spend time actually speaking out loud the positive future aspirational self that that you want to be in the future over yourself every single morning and, and I know this is effective because if you have a BHAG a big hairy audacious goal something that you know you're gonna need to to stretch to accomplish um, you know that it's not your environment that needs to change to accomplish that goal it's yourself that's gonna primarily need to change to accomplish that goal. So spending time every day speaking those positive words about who you want to become is going to be super important to achieving that goal and really just having more satisfaction and joy in your life. So that's the first thing about preparation. The second one I would say is really important about, about preparation is to clarify your mission. Clarifying your mission is simply understanding what you're doing, why you're doing it, and who you're doing it for. Um, I think the major issue people have is is in life is, is they go after too many opportunities and they, they don't really focus their, their energies on things that are actually creating the future they want to have. They instead spend time chasing opportunities or getting distracted by the internet or whatever it is, and that can create a lot of issues. So remember, for me and for you, our main job is to keep the main thing the main thing. Our main task throughout the day and the weeks as we are striving to achieve our goals is, is to keep the main thing the main thing, which means we are working towards the thing that is most important to us and not getting distracted. And just that simple step of clarifying what you're doing, why you're doing it, who you're doing it for can be an incredible step on your road to productivity. And um, that's the second thing. The third thing about um, preparing for your day and preparing for your, your life and your, and your goals is really just to plan your outcomes. Uh, planning your outcomes is more the nitty gritty side, and, and this is what I'd encourage. If you can take some time to clarify your most important goal in the next one to five years or so, what's that one important goal that you want the most? And then ask yourself a question about that specific goal. For this goal to happen, what would need to be true in the meantime? 
for this goal to, to manifest, to take place, what would need to be true between now and that? Because this will give you what I call your milestones, your specific things that you'll need to, to happen on the way to that goal. And that could be uh, tools you need to acquire, skills you need to learn, they could be people you need to meet, they could be you know, work you need to do, whatever needs to happen between now and then, that will um, become your milestones and that'll allow you to break down your work into monthly and weekly goals, which will then just disseminate into your daily goals and allow you to have a lot more effective daily action because your daily work is connected with your long-term goals. So that's the third thing, planning your outcome. That's preparation. The second thing I would say uh, about these principles is, is action. And action is, is uh, what I define it as is focused effort on a specific outcome. Focused effort on a specific outcome. Energy funneled into one specific goal over time has incredible value in achievement. And, and until you realize this, it's going to be very hard to accomplish big things in your life. And that's why action actually gets more time than preparation or review. I use the 10-80-10 rule. So if you think about it this way, the, the amount of time I spend on preparation is 10%. Action gets about 80%. And then review gets about 10% as well. And you might be thinking, Joey, like why does action get gets such a huge piece of the pie? Well, I'll tell you, the, the, the main problem that I see a lot of people having is is not that they don't do enough planning or review, they don't take enough action. I think this is the key thing for building a business, for accomplishing a goal. Taking action is the missing link. It is the turnkey solution you've been looking for. There's no mentor, coach, training program, or book that's gonna allow you to accomplish your dreams and your goals more than the ability to spend a lot of time taking energy and focusing it on a specific outcome. That's the key. And uh, what I'll also encourage you to, to think about in, in terms of action is, is that when you're working towards your goals and you're spending your time on different projects, understand that satisfaction in your work does not necessarily mean output. So what I'm saying is some people associate feeling like they're getting a lot done with actually getting a lot done. And this isn't always necessarily true. I think a lot of us kind of chase after that flow state, right? Where, where we're, we're in the zone, we're working on something we love, we don't notice the time passing, we're getting challenged in our work, and, and we create some quality output while having a lot of fun. But uh, in the real world, when you are working on real life problems that real people have, that's not always going to be the case. And that's okay. Just because you don't feel like you've made a huge accomplishment or moved something really meaningful forward every single day doesn't mean you're not doing that. The feeling does not need to be there for the achievement to be there. And this might help you in the journey that it takes uh, across many days, weeks, months, years, whatever it is to achieve your goal. Just to remember that the key is effort focused on a specific outcome. And that over time will win. The feelings may come and go, but the effort focused over the course of time on a specific goal is what's going to really turn the needle. And the last thing I'll say about action is just to help you with a little bit of a distinction between action and everything else. I think that too many people confuse taking action with what's really preparation, review, or, or just frankly a distraction. So this is what I'll say about action. When the only time you can clock in to action, the only time that you can say I'm taking action right now in my business is when you're spending time in your clients or customers mind actively solving their problems. Action is taking steps to solve other people's problems. That's what true action taking is in your business. And you got to remember that because I remember I didn't say reading a book or learning a new skill. I, I did not say networking is taking action. I didn't say looking up alternative business models or tips or tricks or organizing your personal life or anything like that. You know, doing laundry, that's not taking action. Action is working on solving other people's problems. And that's the only time you can count towards taking action. Everything else is preparation, review, or a distraction. So remember that when you're balancing the 80 80% of your time on action and the 10% on either side. 
that'd be really important. So last thing, review. Review uh, is, is just the ability to sit back, reflect for the purpose of doing better in the future. So if you have the ability to review well, you already know how to do this, how to take time to think about the past and to kind of assimilate some of the lessons you've learned into the future. Um, how I'd recommend doing this is, is take up a habit of daily and weekly journaling, potentially, uh, as, as much as you can uh, throughout the week. Write down what you've learned that day, what distinctions you've made. This will solidify it into your mind and help you lock in lessons that you've learned. Um, as well as giving you an outlet to be authentic and to, and to really share your true thoughts and maybe events or, or just be uh, real in a space um, with your journal. And this will really create a lot of value in your life and allow you to, like I said, take those lessons you've learned and really remember them so you can apply them to the future. So daily, weekly journaling I recommend. The second thing I recommend for review and, re and reflection is to set aside blocks of time especially if you're not good at review, like myself, you need to set aside specific blocks of time for the purpose of having a meeting with yourself or your key staff and looking over the metrics, looking over the numbers to find your crucial moves. What is a crucial move? Well, a crucial move is a system, a process, a procedure, a person, it's a product that's, out, that's an outlier, that's doing over and above well compared to its peers. And so the time you take to look over your metrics will reveal these crucial moves and allow you to find those people or strategies or processes that are doing well above their peers as far, in far, as, as, far as effectiveness and then allow you to assimilate those into your business even more. And this is an incredible strategy that I learned that will literally take your results to the next level because now you're spending time. It doesn't have to be you know, a whole day every single week or some crazy amount of time. Just, just taking a little bit of time to look at your life, look at your goals, all the metrics involved with that, notice the crucial moves, and adjust accordingly. It doesn't have to be a big deal, but just make it a regular thing and I guarantee you'll see your results skyrocket. So, preparation, action, review. That's a lot of stuff, but I know that you're going to be able to implement these in your daily life. If you just start with one or two things, I believe that you can do this. It's going to be a journey, but believe me, it'll be a lot of fun once you start enjoying the results of taking action on these things. I believe in you, your ability to figure this out and to start doing these things. Just remember, you have a bias. We all do towards you know one or two of these things and, and you need to understand what those are. Remember the 10-80-10 rule as far as uh, spreading out your time across these three things. And I promise you will find more effectiveness in your day-to-day -day and week-to-week -week life. You'll get more productivity, you'll get more done, you'll be more of an achiever, and I wish you the best on your journey. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's my mission to give you tools that help you hit your goals and improve your life. It's an honor to be a part of your journey. Hey, do me a favor too and smash that like button on this video, I would so appreciate it. And let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you next time.